some of the same questions asked Brad. Y'all's road form is kind of rounding into, into shape. How do you apply some of that to the home form, especially with all these matches coming up? Yeah, I think it's just, I think it's a bit of a mentality thing. Like when we go on the road, we know like it's going to be a fight. It's going to be, you know, the other team might have the ball at times. And I think at the bins, like we always want to dominate, dominate, dominate. Um, and at times, like if there's a spell in the game where the other team has the ball, we might get a little discouraged. And I think, I think it's just applying that same mentality that we have on the road to, to the home games. And y'all played nine and 30. Now you've got six and 18. Is, is it just too much? the number of games in such a compressed time? Um, I mean, it's certainly a lot, but, I mean, for me personally, I, I, I love it. Um, you know, I mean, it's a trade-off. Like, you know, when you're, when you're playing a lot of games, there, there's not a whole lot of training sessions. So, you know, it's a, it is what it is. And I think, you know, there's a lot of other teams that are having to do the same thing. So I think it's certainly not an excuse. I think, you know, it's definitely not too much if you're winning every game. So I think that's certainly the goal to make sure we're getting the results, even though it's a lot of games, just making sure we're taking it one at a time. How do, what does it mean to you that you, Efrain, Caleb, three homegrowns have started these last two games on the road? What does that mean personally? I think it's really cool because, you know, like we've known each other since we were, you know, 14, 15 years old. And I think now that we're out here, um, like when you look, to your left and right and you see those guys, it still feels the same as it did in academy when we were playing. So it's a really special feeling. In those kind of chaotic moments where you don't have the ball and it's difficult, you know, do you find that it's, I don't know, comforting? Does it just help you, you know, have an outlet to see Efrain to the other side or to see Caleb out wide? Yeah, I think definitely these past two games since I've been on the left and Caleb was right there, it was, you know, a lot of communication, a lot of just like, hey, stay in it, you know, we're okay nothing's going too wrong here. And I think just that communication, you know, whether it's Caleb, Efra, even Derek, Tristan, Jay, the guys around us, I think it's just knowing that, you know, hey, like we might not have the bar right now, we might be suffering a bit, but we're all suffering and, you know, we're okay. How has that adjustment been for you? I mean, Atlanta United consistently throughout your academy days to all of it, you guys want the ball, you dominate the ball, and at times in this last run of games, like you said, you haven't. So, that adjustment mentally to being okay without the ball. How's that been for you? Yeah, I think that's just soccer. Like, especially like DC and St. Louis, they play a very physical style. Um, St. Louis pressed pretty well. Um, DC even presses a bit from the front. And so at times it can be hard to keep the ball and you just have to know what type of game it is. And I think like, regardless of, you know, whether we complete 500 passes or 100 or 200, whatever it is, like, I'm sure every single guy would say I'd rather win. And I think, but I thought there, there were times in St. Louis where we had really great possession and we found, found a free guy up the field and we were able to turn and run at their back line. So I think, I think it's definitely been a bit of both. I think we've still been really good on the ball at times. You've been one of the guys who's played the most minutes with the first team this year. It's the most minutes for you with the first team in your career. Has there been anything in the season that it kind of clicked for you that you felt like, I'm a regular with this group now. I think I wouldn't say anything really clicked. I always felt like, like I always felt like I could do it, and I always felt like I belonged. Like I knew I could play at the level. And I think I think it was just at the beginning, getting out there and doing it, getting that win against Chicago, and then um, um, honestly a pretty decent draw at New York City after going behind a goal. And I think. I think just having those two results really helped my confidence and really helped me say, you know, have the proof that, like, that this is this is it and I can do it. Last one for me. Uh, just signed Matt Edwards, another academy yeah. graduate coming to the first team. You know, you, he took a little bit different path for you. Do you have conversations with him as he came back into the group and talk about how he's fit into the first team? Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, Matt's super close with all of us young guys, and I think – you know, he did take a bit of a different path than the rest of us. Um, but I think, it, I think it speaks to, to him as a person that he was able to go away and work his way back um, and even work his way back to the twos. And then the first team, I think it says a lot about him as a person and as a player. Um, and, yeah, we always ask him questions about college, like what's the level like, you know, what's the schedule like, what's the season like, um, that type of stuff. So, yeah, but I think it just really speaks to him as a person, as a player as well, that he was able to – to go from academy here to Chapel Hill and then work his way back. You remember the first Toronto game? Yes. This year. 
Are you hoping they open the roof and turn up the heat <laughs> for this one? Kind of yeah, camera I'd, I'd like to go the opposite <laughs> way. Yeah, I'm one of the few guys that would prefer to play in the heat than the cold, for sure. Because that was nuts. <laughs> I'll get me started. Anything else for Noah? Yeah, one more. Just the, su the success you and Caleb and, and some of the other homegrowns are experiencing, is that, does that push each other a as a group? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I definitely think, like, just competition as a whole is good. You know, you always want competition for places. You always want, because that's what gets the best out of you in training and the games and everything else. Um, but I think it's good competition. There's, especially between the homegrowns, it's not anybody saying, oh, I want to be this guy, I want to be that guy. You know, we just all want to get on the field and we all want to win. And I think, I think that's what's been really good for the chemistry of the group, um, not just us homegrowns, everybody else as well, that um, the competition has been healthy competition, it's been good competition. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thanks, though.